Hello today, and we've got um, a video response to do um, to Nova Bark, and he asks, he tag, what am I talking about? Five ra random game facts about me that no one gives a flying fuck about. So he didn't say that, no one cares about, but that's me. <laughs> okay, um... I may have paused the video on this a few times because it's just remembering a few of the facts. Um, I think some of the, uh, there is facts, but I, I just can't remember off hand. Um, it, it's going to be gaming related, but it's not going to be about actual games itself. You know, hence why I've got my Amstrad CPC 464 here. But we'll come back to that. Um, I would say one of my gaming facts um, is when I bought Outrun for the Amstrad CPC. Yes, a major, major disappointment. Um, also, with a lot of US Gold games for this, were very disappointing. And that's honestly a personal reason why I brought the Commodore 64. Um, I've had, you know, I've had three of these in my time. If you bother to keep up with my videos um, well actually this is the fourth one now this is actually this one's actually a special computer because this was my bet this was my best friend so um, and I'm sort of looking after it for him and you know it's immaculate I don't think he hardly ever touched this he hardly ever played on it I went down his house once um, to even you know he said come down because he was always coming up my house playing on my hands straight so I thought for a change he invited me down to his house, you know, when we ki when we was kids back at school, um, you know, meet the family and that, you know. And when I got round to playing on his computer, <laughs> right, if you're watching this, mate, it didn't even have a plug on it. <laughs> and it was all covered up in covers, in, you know, everything, it was covered up. So it just made me think he hardly ever touched the game, t touched the computer itself. And that's why it's so in a good good fantastic condition i don't think you'll find a lot of old computers especially now it's 30 years old um in um prestige condition like this there's not even one uh, no scratches on it at all okay it's got dust so that's my fault because i don't cover things up where i should but you know 30 years old it's immaculate so it's well been looked after, but I will get back to the. I'm, I'm waffling on already, and I ain't even got to the point of the this video where I'm supposed to um, ta um, tag. Mm, tongue tied. Um, my five random facts about gaming. As I was saying about the outrun. Right. Let's, let's talk about that. Um, yeah, my mate Raj yeah, owned that computer. Um, I went out and bought Outrun and obviously what I did not know when I went back when I went to school the next day and said I bought Outrun and it was really disappointing what I did not realise he went out and bought it on the same day <laughs> and we come back we were sort of amazed with each other that we, we bought it on the same day and we didn't even know we didn't even know if we was going to get it, I did. I I plans of getting it because I obviously played it on the Commodore 64, and I thought that version was absolutely fantastic. And I was I always still reckon that is one of the best home computer versions ever. And when you played it on the Amstrad, oh god, where was disappointment? But that's the first game, in fact, that we actually me and my mate actually bought it on the first day. First day. The, on a, on a day, I think it was a Saturday, um, but we didn't, when we went to school on the bundo, I bought Outrun, that's funny, so did I. Um, okay, that's my first fact, but the second fact is going to be about this, this computer itself. Um, obviously this is my mate, and I'll tell you why the reason why mine broke. I think originally, because when you eject it, it now pops up very quickly. So when that comes up, you can see that my one started to break about here because of all the amount of time I used to use this computer 
and you know on the uh, we're on the um, on the latches where it opens up they it's only plastic so it start to break so what I was amazed what I see my mate do my best mate owned this one he pushed the eject but he made he made sure he kept his uh, hand on it so it just comes up so it just doesn't flick up like that and puts tension on the plastic so it breaks like what my one did and my first Amstrad was in bits because the cassette because I overused it, I used it every single day. I was playing non-stop games with it. It eventually broke because eventually the tape deck started um, not loading properly. It was something wrong with the motor. The motor started going. So eventually, I started to hold it up like that for it to load. So, so I don't know. It done something with the motor and it started loading properly. And one day, I dropped it, <laughs> and it and it all started to break at the back it was really looking bad and oh, I don't know I had to do it a few times but just kept yeah, I don't know it just eventually it just broke so that's that was the end of the first CPC so and then I oh, bet the monitor was still working but then I got my second CPC anyway I'm not talking about the fucking computers um so basically that it's not a gaming fact but you know it's a fact that if you want to keep your cassette deck working condition just do that it won't break the things so that's a good tip he taught me actually so I want to put that as a gaming you know a gaming fact for me because you know I played a lot a lot of games on it and it does preserve the life of it I mean there's a lot of CPCs out there and it's probably still done that like that but it's probably survived but with me I think I overused that Amstrad computer I dearly did that that was my gaming workhorse for the 1980s. That was that was the only computer I, I owned. The Amstrad CPC was the only computer that I owned throughout the 1980s. I didn't own another computer till um, the 90s. That then I got the Commodore 64, the Commodore Amiga. Then um, eventually worked up to the PC. Then 2000 consoles. You know, don't matter. I'm waffling again. Um, so that's two gaming fact. Okay, it might not be a game, but to me, it play it plays games. So we'll get on to number three. Um, I don't know if anybody has done this. I uh, know my mate that owned a Commodore 64 did. This was another mate, not my mate that down the road. This was another mate up the road that owned a, also had a Commodore 64. He had a good. I. I had a game on my Amstrad, I can't remember what game it was now, but he liked it so much, it, it wasn't available, I don't think it was available for the Commodore 64. So what he did, obviously I'm going to put this as a game in fact, he tried to load it, my Amstrad game, on his Commodore 64. <laughs> obviously it did not work, of course it wouldn't, but you know, you don't know, we was young, we were stupid when we were what about 11 to 12 years old <laughs> you know oh that game looks good can I try and load it on my Commodore 64 <laughs> obviously it weren't going to work ok that's the third game in fact the fourth game in fact um, yeah half of my Commodore Amiga games were all pirates <laughs> yes ok I pirated games off my mates, but they were all cracked anyway, so I just copied it. That version was cracked, so you just did copies of it. That's the good thing about discs, you know, you didn't lose quality, it weren't like tapes. <laughs> so, okay, it might, it's gaming related, it weren't actual computer games, because I can't remember, you know, I've played so many computer games, it's basically normal to me I didn't I really have no gaming facts about computer games itself it's just stuff I remembered and on the line of piracy piracy <laughs> you know I was the one that taught my mates back in the day if you had a double um, cassette you know a double double cassette basically a, a, a double deck cover set cassettes 
I was the first one out my mates to put a, the original Amstrad CPC game into the one cassette and a, and a blank, maybe, uh, I don't know, a D90 or something like that, into the recording deck. <laughs> I wanted to try this and it worked. I recorded the game onto the blank tape and I put the cassette in, you know, I'm sure we all done it. Um, don't be such a bloody angel if you haven't done it. Um, come on. We've, I'm sure we've all done it, like we all pirated games in our time. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I was basically the one to show everyone, all my mates, how to do it. <laughs> and, it and I'm surprised it worked. Um, obviously, if you've got a decent cassette and a, and a decent cassette deck, it will work. Um, yeah, so basically, that's how pirated started for me. <laughs> but some sometimes a cassette had a cut, a, like a block on. So some, it's like when you used to record from VHS to VHS. And I'm sure we've all done that too. Come on, don't play the innocent. That you haven't done it. You've been a goody goody all your life. <laughs> um, yeah, because sometimes you get the block and it don't come out so well. Um, I mean, who remembers the days on VHS when you almost had, well, you had to pay a tenner for a pirate? Something that's come out in the cinema, and you get it on um, VHS, and the and the quality was absolutely shit. But you still fucking bought it. Why? Why did you buy a piece of shit quality? I would have rather gone to the cinema and watch it, and some, you know, some of the crap we used to get back then. Because there was no internet, there was no facility to download. Um, you know, all we had, I don't know how, they obviously took a camcorder in, or big massive camcorders back in the day, so, or it was imported from America or something, because it always got released before it got released over here, um, so I don't know how it all come about, but, you know, it was, all, it was pirated VHS tapes going about, like with the latest films at the time, but it, it was crap. The quality was awful. I mean, compared to what you get nowadays with the it's all digital um, recording and all that. But the crap we used to get back then, you know, was shit. <laughs> so yeah, I was basically the one out of my group of mates started piracy. <laughs> so there's your game five gaming fact. Okay, it might not all be related to gaming, but. It, it is related to gaming, what I should say, but not actual gaming itself. You know, it's the media, the tapes, the discs, uh, on the games. It was games, maybe, but we pirated. Okay, I think enough said. So, I hope this is sort of answered the question. Now, who am I going to tag? Actually, whoever watches this video, you're automatically tagged. Okay, right, I'm going to end this video now. Thank you so much for watching. Watching? <laughs> Fucking watching. Watching. I um, only had one beer, for fuck's sake. Come on. Washing you, washing, yeah, washing your hands, yeah. Don't matter. I'm waffling again. Um, yeah, okay. Thank you for watching. Till next time, and goodbye. <laughs>